Hello everybody. Today we are going to visualize your data quality inside your Sweet CRM. This helps you to figure out if and when processes in your business go wrong and proactively be able to inform your internal staff for fixing the problems. My name is Bastian Hammer, your go-to expert when it comes to all things CRM, marketing automation, e-commerce and sales integration. Okay, so let's go. I assume you've got your CRM system up and running. You've got your business processes already implemented and you're working with the data. Everything is fine, but it could be different. It could be that something like an integration breaks down. And in the worst case, your customers might tell you about it. In the best case, you will proactively figure that out. In order to do this, you need some sort of monitoring. And there are different sorts of monitoring. In the CRM system, you can do data quality or data monitoring. And that's what we're going to build today. Here, we're going to focus on the leads module because if you have leads incoming, I assume that your website or your, your lead generation forms, they take care of the quality. But if those quality leads are incoming in your CRM system, there will be business and everybody, everything will be working as uh, the day-to-day -day business with the standard processes. If something is breaking, then you need to react quickly. So let's first go and head over to the leads. Here's the leads module. Here are my leads, which are incoming. But now I would like to visualize how many leads do I have per day? And then I can see outliers. And just in case, let's say, I know that every day there are roughly 10 new leads in the system. And if it's already noon or whatever, and I have zero new leads so far, there's something wrong. And I can right away jump in and look into the problems. So we're going to take the reports module. It's under more and reports. So I'm opening up in a new tab and I'm going to create a new report. So if you want to um, figure out all the details and how to use it, then check out my video on the reporting basics in Sweet CRM system, because here we are just going to um, quickly create a report which, which we want to focus on, which is um, leads per day. Reporting module will be leads and I can start working on the data. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to have the created date. So I search for created, created date. And to build up your, um, to build up your report, it always makes sense to to first look into the data that everything is correct to get a better feeling for the data before you start grouping things together. So here I would just do a sort and I want to see the newest at the very top and that's pretty much all for now. And I want to save it. And here I expect like all the leads, including the date creation, create date creation time, and the last name is here as well. Okay, so that looks from my feeling quite good. Here we've got 5,202, exactly like here as well. So it seems like our filters are correct. Nothing is being filtered out. It feels like, okay, we have a couple of leads per day. It seems to be fine as well. And the newest one is on top. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this one here and start grouping things together. So here in a group, I want to do this one. So the problem is now here you've got a date time. In the database, you've even stored it with, with the seconds attached. So that doesn't help because you don't know what don't want to know how many leads per second will be registered. So grouping there is not useful at all. And therefore we change the format of the date. So as you can see, we've got all different sorts of options here. One neat one is year, month, date, uh, year, month, day. So in this case, I can drill it down per day, but you can do the same thing for year and month or yearly reports. For now, I'm good with year, month and day. And 
Then I need to count something so I can count the ID or I can count the the last name basically doesn't matter because it's a simple count. And if I do this again, it might already take some more time. Okay, no, was kind of okay. Um, in case your data is getting bigger, then this might take some more time. You want to have this report being generated quickly. So here we've got 894 days of, of historical lead creation dates. And as you can see, it's usually in the single digits area. There are some outliers where it's a lot and there are some outliers where it's one. If it's zero, then there might be something wrong. Even if it's one, it could still be, it worked during the first, uh, to, during the small hours of the day and then later on in the day, something broke. So you have to develop a little bit of a feeling how this data should look like. And this works if you monitor it regularly and if you see changes in patterns. So back into the loading performance. This one looks already good so far, but what I want to do now is conditions. I want to only look at the, maybe like the last 30 days, like the rolling 30 days leads. So I go back to the leads and I drop a condition here. It's on the created date, created, date created there. And then I say this um, date created should be greater than or equal to. Now I could do something like period. And as you can see yesterday, last week, this month, whereas um, the rolling 30 days is a bit more difficult. Maybe you don't have too many options here, just in case you want to want to be a bit finer grained and have like 40 days or something. Therefore, I would usually switch to date and then have a relative format like 30 and then days. So now minus 30 days. This is what I want to see. Now I click on save. And as you can see, now we only have like 30 rows of reports or of data, 30 days, 30 rows, makes sense. And we can see 24th, 23rd, 22nd, 21st. So this works all smoothly. So far our processes, our integrations from let's say the website form into our CM system has not been broken. There have been some outliers where we only saw one new lead. It could be that particularly in this state, we just didn't have a lot of leads, but it could also be that there was something broken for a little while and we fixed it right afterwards. So you should really keep an eye on stuff like this and try to get a feeling how your data would look like on day-to-day -day business or on a day-to-day uh, -day basis or on a week-to-week -week basis or something. So in order to make it a bit easier on the eye, we would add a chart here now as well. So we've got the fields, it's correct. We've got the conditions and the numbers look good. Now I want to have a chart and it's basically suitable for not a bar chart, but a line chart here. So we want to see the, the changes over time. Time will be our X axis and then the count will be our Y axis. So now we could change the change the names as well. I do this in a bit. First want to see whether the chart works. And here, if you have a look at this one, it takes like fractions of a second to recognize a problem or not. So in this case, you've been quite successful. Maybe you ran a webinar or whatever, and there maybe it was just a simple Sunday and nobody signed up. And then everything should be working as expected. Now, I want to change the label, date created is correct. And then I want to say something on number of leads. And I save this one as well as um, leads per day or new leads per day or something. So the chart has a name as well, new leads per day. Okay, that looks good so far. I think we can work with this. So if you if you have like a, a process where you would go in and one time per day monitor exactly this chart, maybe at a specific time, you would always get a good feeling like is today a normal day or do we have any problems? 
in order to make this easier you can move this one or integrate it in your dashboard so in order to do this i would go to my dashboard and then to actions and add a dash led so here i want to add a report there we go and now i have to choose a report okay we'll do that that's fairly easy because there's only one so i simply can click it new leads per day and I want to see only the charts. You can look into the numbers as well. That might make sense if you're not uh, dealing with integer numbers, but with decimals or, or some, some fractions or, or something. So usually I would go and, and prefer charts if it's something which we can visualize nicely. So click on save. And as you can see, the chart is being displayed. Now I could, for instance, create a separate um, tab for all my charts and I can build up like 10 charts or whatever of how the data should look like of how I expect the data to look like and then every day I can just um, put something into my calendar to check this quickly and see whether everything is performing as expected and if there are let's say less leads I could even drill down to specific leads from a website source or something and um, yeah, really focus on the data that is like business to business dependent. So you need to look into your data. You need to really see how you expect your data to look like and then display the reality and then hold your expectations against the reality and see whether it matches or not. Okay, let's quickly recap. So in order to be able to monitor your data quality, best is if you can visualize the data quality. That is, you've got some expectations or some experience about your data, how it should look like. You can express this expectation into a report and then you can turn the report into a chart. This chart you can simply add to your dashboard. Now you would have an easy time to go in one time per day, for instance, and check whether the charts all look um, like sideward, sidewards movement where you can um, rely on the fact everything is working smoothly. There are no great outliers to the bottom or to the top, depending on what's good or bad for your business. Okay, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.